punt returns and a couple of yards as well. You know, we uh, we work on it at practice every day. So, you know, when my when, I, when my number got called to do that, I was ready. You know, just catch it first. That's all I was really worried about. Whatever happens after that happens. And disappointing that one called back. You know, it, it's, it comes with the game. So I wasn't really too too disappointed. It was just good to get out there and get a feel for uh, returning punts. Uh, how special was it for you to take a, take a kick off back with, with Eric in the stands? It was obviously amazing. Um, you know, he doesn't come to um, – many games <clears throat> and he got the opportunity to come because he had a Thursday night game and you no know, I uh, give my best every game but knowing that he was coming I just tried to make something happen and and it happened so it was a great feeling you talked to him since the game ended I did what did he tell you about the uh, what did he say to you uh, he was obviously excited but uh, he talked a little trash and said he would have caught me <laughs> and uh <laughs> no I denied it but uh, he was obviously excited so Evan, did you play this game sick? Are you under the weather? A little bit. I got a um, little sinus infection, but nothing too major. Evan, did you know where you were in, in kind of the pile? It looked like you were going to tackle and you kind of backpedaled three or four yards. <laughs> did, you have, did you have an awareness where you were, or was it just keep the legs moving here? Um, to be honest, I didn't know where I was. Uh, I mean, I know that <clears throat> I needed to get to the opposite end zone, and yeah. whatever step I take, it needs to be towards the end zone. So I just kept it moving. Tyler, can you talk about how valuable it is for the young guys to be able to play all, all the young offensive linemen that got to play? And how, you know, how much benefit did you get early in your career when you got to play this you know, much in the game? Like uh, it really is huge for those guys. I mean, it's a lot of a confidence boost for them, too, and they can understand the offense a lot better. Um, I know when I was a redshirt freshman and, and playing my first game, it was really exciting, really nerve-wracking. and. Um, it's great to actually get out there in front of the fans and, and play in Newland Stadium. And what you call this a workmanlike victory? How, you know, it would seem that it would maybe been hard to get up from this one sandwiched as it is in between last week and you know, what you got coming up on Saturday. How, is that the result of leadership, the veterans just you know, knowing how to take care of business? Yeah, it all started with um, great practices this week. I mean, every day we, we were all locked in and ready to, you know, get some work done. Um, it was There was no complaining. There was no... Uh, whoa, me! It's hot out, or you know, I don't want to practice. It was all right. Let's let's go out and work. Let's let's get better this week. So, um, with that positive mindset, you can really do a lot of things. Did that surprise you any? Did that mindset was there after a tough loss? Uh, no, not exactly. Because I know a lot of the guys, um, a lot of guys on the team, you know, they take that loss personally and they want to work harder because you know it's a very upsetting. Um, losing that game and it really makes you want to drive even more to be better and and make it to where we don't lose another game like that. How as you guys head into SEC play as one of the veteran leaders, how or why is this team different or better equipped for the drive that's coming up? Uh, just a year older. Um, having all these guys with a lot more experience and understanding of, of game situations, um, you know, we know how to, you know, take it down the field with a minute left and score, you know, we, we know how to play in overtime. You know, we we know how um, to run the ball versus all these different defenses, pass the ball, get it out in the perimeters to the wide receivers. Um, defense has been in all kinds of situations where they've been able to bounce back. So all that experience really helps you and helps you understand, you know, the kind of stuff that you're going to see in SEC play. You got to hear it this week. It's been since 2003, since, you, since Tennessee won in Florida. What were you, what were you doing in 2003? Uh, well, I was 10, so I have no idea what I was doing in 2000. I was like in fourth grade, fifth grade, I don't know. A couple more guys. How, how big of a lift is it for the offense and really for the whole team when the guys to your right are returning, having big returns like that, they give them the for you? It's great. I was actually talking to Coach Mo. Um, before the game started in pregame meal, I said, wouldn't it just be awesome if Evan took a kickback and we just went out there for field goal? That would just be great, wouldn't it? And then he actually did it. And, oh, man, I mean, all the offensive linemen were running full speed because we were excited it's one play and we're out. You know, if, <laughs> if, if these guys can help us with that, uh, all the merrier. Um, Evan, first time Tennessee's had a punt return and a kick return in the same game since the 1950s. 
What does it kind of mean for you guys to be a part of that? That's, a, that's a, obviously, you know, it's great to have that. Just making making some history, and you know, on Evans' kick return, I call, I, I called it. I looked, I looked and uh, saw him break out short kick. I just put my hands up. I'm like, yeah, touchdown. And it's funny it happened that way. He was kind of backpedaling. He kind of didn't know where he was at for a second, and he broke out. So it was it was good to have that. To see Ladero get back and get an interception, have a big play after you know he probably thought he wasn't gonna play again. Yes, um, <clears throat> obviously a good feeling, you know, knowing that um, he probably wasn't gonna play again, and he came back and then made um, <clears throat> made the plays he's supposed to make and. Wasn't timid. He was a little bit nervous um, at first, and I kind of talked to him and said, "Man, you've done this for four years. Same old game. Go out there and just make plays." And he did exactly that. Uh, what did you see on your punt return there? It looked like once you got past that first kind of wave, you had some space, but you had to make one more guy miss. Yeah, you know, it was just punt return, kick return, just about just about making making people miss. You know, you got all that space, just setting guys up and uh, trying to trying to give them a couple moves to you know get open up some more room for you to uh, run. So. Just uh, catching the ball first and getting my eyes downfield, that really helped me. What goes your mind when you one more guy? You know, if you can see that, obviously, you know, you probably don't get caught from behind too much. So if you see one guy in front of you, what goes through your mind when you know, I just got to get past this one? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm money. That's what I think. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> End zone. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, we got Josh Dobbs coming here. we got uh, Mr. Quentin Dormady over here. You didn't look at the demo, huh? <laughs>